Transportation tech is moving really fast at CES, whether it's autonomous robo-taxis like Zeus you see behind me, all of these AI-driven cars that think. The thing is, all of these things we're seeing, not all of them are happening on the road. We got to take a ride on an electric boat from Arc out on Lake Mead the other day. The surge when the boat started physically this threw me back in my seat. It was a beautiful day on the water and really enjoyable because there was no fumes that you could smell and all of our conversations happened at normal speaking level. You didn't have to yell over the sound of a motor. There's a lot less hype on electric vehicles this year, but that doesn't mean companies aren't looking into it. They're focusing on safety as well as building up infrastructure. We actually uh, met a team called Electric Fish that is looking to install fast EV chargers at every gas station that doesn't pull from the grid the way that fast chargers do now. So you'll be able to charge up in 10 to 15 minutes at any gas station across the country is their goal. That's the main pain point we hear often from people who are avoiding buying an EV is they're worried they're not going to be able to find a place to charge, let alone a quick charge. We also went to see companies like Amborella, which are building the brains that go into autonomous vehicles. They're building out ways to sync camera modes as well as radar so that the self-driving vehicle can get a better sense of what's coming ahead of it. I got to play test dummy for the new radar that they're looking to implement in self-driving cars. And you can stand up to 350 meters away, almost 1,000 feet, and the car's radar is able to detect you. You can see me moving as that little yellow box right there.